Hi everybody, I'm Trin Johnson and welcome to Dust in My Eye. Today I am going to be painting poinsettias. And I had watched a video by Merrimy Simple Crafts and they used a pen. It's a Pilot g -Tech C4, this pen right here. And uh, it's just a, a really nice pen. And I'm going to use that pen in my poinsettia painting. So let's get started. Trying to keep this as simple as possible um, with the least amount of colors and switching. I, I mostly am using um, an alizarin crimson and some sap green and a little bit of white gouache at the end. I, I might throw in some New Gamboge or um, some, some yellow. So right now I just want to do three poinsettias, main flowers, and I'm working on an arch, arch um, 15 centimeter by 30 centimeter block cold pressed. So I'm going to start setting up where I want the base of the broad part of the flower to be. So I'm just making five dots just to get my space acclimated to my to where I want it on the paper. And uh, I am going to just paint some simple leaves. Leaf shapes, I should say. Don't want to get real particular, don't want to get really huge. That's pretty easy. And then while they're still wet, I'm going to pop in some little bit darker spots. Then let's move on to the next flower. There's fuzzles, the never ending fuzz on my brushes amazes me, but it probably has something to do with all the cats in the house. <laughs> or at least they don't help me keep from having that issue. I'm doing the same thing. Really wet. Not real picky about a perfect shape leaf. Just want that general long, skinny, pointy shape. And then it's got long little stemmy things at the beginning of the leaf. And again, just drop some back over here and drop some dark. Now 
I like the point. So Okay, let's do one more over here. These dots keep me from um, starting too close to each other. My mom loved poinsettias. I have a pot of really nice um, velvety ones downstairs. That she had put on her mantle and I have the painting she had above it too. It makes me think of her. I do not have poinsettias in my house because I have too many kitties and they're highly poisonous <laughs> for kitties so very toxic so I don't generally have them I have over the years once in a while had some in a room where I wasn't ever the cats were allowed unless there was a person in there with them that's the only time that I have uh, had them in my house. Ah, lost my point. Okay. Now, let's mix up some green. There. Little bit of new gamboge. Just doing these in the holes. I'm not doing it very well though, am I? Don't have the right consistency. There we go. Doing the same thing I just did.
a little darker than I want it to be. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. Loosen it up a little bit. Got to add more water over here. Just put some in the back. Big bits. Drop a little bit of my red into my leaves, especially that first layer. I'm not going to do over there because I want to do the leaves in between there first. So let's get those ones going real quick. Same method. the background of the other one because lots of loose greenery behind them. Let's get this last guy.
Okay, now, really? Watery. Vague. Leaves behind. Not really worrying about where it's coming from, where it's going. get our pen out and we're gonna go crazy on loose probably gonna go over everything twice and just vaguely going where it was I don't want to draw around it real specific. Then I lose all my loosey goosiness. And I don't need to go over all of the ones in the background. Just occasionally. I am going to do the first round of green. Occasionally, and then I want little berries for the center, little dots that I'm going to put some white gouache on. Let's get a new brush. This squash has a little um, watercolor medium in it, so it's a little more liquidy than it comes out of the tube. One, two, three, four, five, six, it needs another one. I did not count very well. I like odd numbers for things like this. I need to do a, a couple more on this one. It's hard to see till you get it going. I need a couple more on this guy. There.
And then I'm just going to add a little spatter and call it done. See, that's too wet. I don't want that spatter that big. Hold on. Hold the phone. Let's do that. Okay. There's some nice, loose, quick, easy. Only used three colors and some gouache. And uh, worked pretty well. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of future videos, Hit the cute little bell, and you can always buy me a cup of coffee if you'd like to help support my journey. And please check out my Etsy shop where I have prints of my artwork and originals and some really cute little monsters for sale. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.